This is just a little idea of how to layer and transient cut samples and picking and choosing your sample. We're just nipping off that transient. Now we have this pretty cool beat here. It's kind of like an intro beat. So today we're going to talk about layering drums. We're mostly going to be talking about layering audio and transient cutting and picking samples for layering. There's a ton of different ways to go about this based on the style that you want to create the beat. I have this big case here. I grab this cross stick. To cut kicks right when snares happen, it gives it this groove. I've picked a bunch of these samples for the purpose of layering. And we're just gonna choose one transient to work with. So I wanna cut this. See how these two sound together. Sounds pretty good. We could tighten this up a little bit more and bring it over. This bar is the same. All we need to do is work with this. Cut the transient off this kick. And then now we can replace the kick. There is, of course, many ways to do this in Ableton. A really great way is with MIDI layering sounds inside a drum rack or inside a sampler. But we are doing this example in audio. I can see exactly where the transient lands. With a MIDI note, it's just a little less apparent. Nice, and then let's change this a little bit. So the beat has a progression, the beat has an arrangement. We don't want it to be a two bar loop that is just duplicated to make a four bar loop. A true four bar loop is something that has a little bit of arrangement flowing from the beginning to the end. Right here, these hi-hats are slightly different than these hi-hats as an evolution going from the beginning to the end. And then we'll add this right here. Let's add another snare layer. The clap is very long. It's got a crazy transient right there, or it's just at least the peak of it. So we can move it this way a little bit. Give a little more motion. Cross stick. There we go. Let's bring it right here. So it adds that body that we've been missing. Lower the pitch. But I want a little more beef out of the snare. Even when I lower the pitch. So let's try a different snare. Let's cut that there. Okay, so we can zoom in here and figure out what transient we want to keep. See how there's a little flam there? I wouldn't suggest having that. There we go, that sounds better. Or we can go like this. It's nice too. So you can still hear the stick. The stick still almost sounds the same. We're just nipping off that transient. There we go, we got a decent beat and now we're gonna add some percussion. That's pretty busy. So let's just go ahead, cut it down. Let's stick the auto pan on there. Phase all the way to zero so there's no right and left. Let's jack up the pitch. Actually, I want something a little more real sounding, something with less effects. So let's go into the loop packs. Let's find some percussion. Ooh, that sounds kind of tight. Put it right here. Ooh, that's another one. Let's put that one right there. Cool, let's cut it right on that snare. Turn it around. Let's cut that down. And let's bring that back over. That sounds pretty good. Or maybe we'll just add a little bit of percussion for a fill here. We'll cut this and we'll make a fill. Now we have this pretty cool beat here. It's kind of like an intro beat. So now what I want to do is do a little bit of mixing. When you're layering drums, just like when you're, you have two records going at the same time, only one can really share that low end. Let's figure out which one's going to share that low end. That works. Now you can hear both of them a lot better. We've already decided the snare that we want the transient on, which is this 666 big fundamental EQ. Pretty low. That is a low snare. Wow, around 100. Another kind of resonate frequency. Get a little more detail right here. There it is, more like 115. This is just a little idea of how to layer and transient cut samples and picking and choosing your sample. If the kick is not working out, once you start building the song around it, just go ahead and replace the kick. But remember where your transient is.